Alright, welcome sa journal tutorial at ito ang problem number 2 under sa resultant of a parallel forces. By the way, I am Nathan and please don't forget to click the like and the notification bell for you to be notified sa mga future uploads natin. In problem number 2, we have a given forces here. We have 40 newton, 50 newton, 60 newton, 70 and 20 newton. So the requirement here is to determine the magnitude and its position and also to determine the value of the supports. So the supports here is the RA and the RB. So let us proceed. Okay, the first thing we should do here is to determine the resultant. So the resultant is equal to the square root of FV squared plus FH squared. So FV is the vertical forces and the FH is the horizontal forces. So, kung titignan natin ito, kung givens natin, wala tayong any horizontal forces dito, puro vertical. So, the FH is equal to 0. So, the resultant is equal to FV. Okay, to determine the vertical forces, gagamit lang tayo ng summation of FV forces or vertical forces. So, ang sign naman na gagamitin natin sa mga forces natin is anything or any forces going downward is negative and going upward is positive. So, we have negative 40 here. Since uh, downward siya. Negative 40. We have positive 50. Negative 60. Negative 70. And we have positive 20. So, the summation of the vertical forces is equal to negative 100 Newton. It means na result at natin is equal to FV is equal to negative 100 newton or equal to 100 newton downward so ito yung direction ng resultant natin is downward okay ang next na hanapin natin is the position of the resultant for the position of the resultant gagamit lang tayo ng summation of moment is equal to rd okay summation of moment is equal to rd the R here is the resultant and the D is the position of the resultant. Let's say na mag-moment tayo dito sa point A. So, summation of moment A is equal to RT. Okay? So, ang sign na gagamitin ko sa moment natin is clockwise is positive, counterclockwise is negative. So, we have 40. So, mag-moment tayo sa A dito yung point A natin. So, iikot yung 40 newton in a clockwise direction. So, positive. Positive 40. Multiply by 1.5 meter. Okay, we have 50 newton. Okay, yung ikot niya naman is counterclockwise. Kaya negative. Okay, negative 50 multiply by 1.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 4 meter. Meters. So, we have also the 60 newton. Iikot naman siya in clockwise rotation. So, positive 60 multiplied by 1.5 plus 2.5 plus 2 is equal to 6 meters. Okay. And we have also 70 newton. Ang ikot niya naman ay in a clockwise direction then or clockwise rotation. So, positive 70. We have 6 meters plus 3 is equal to 9. So, 9 meters. And we have a 20 newton. So, 20 newton is rotating at counterclockwise direction. So, ikot niya is paganto. Kaya counterclockwise. So, negative 20 multiply by, okay, we have 9 plus 1.7 is equal to 10.7. So, the summation of moment A, summation of moment A is equal to, we have 40 multiply by 1.5 minus 50 times 4 plus 60 multiplied by 6 plus 70 70 multiplied by 9 minus 20 multiplied by 10.7 is equal to 636 okay newton meter so to find the value or to find the position of resultant gagamitin lang natin itong formula na ito summation of moment is equal summation of moment a is equal to rd or summation of moment a is equal to resultant multiplied by its position so Okay, gamit yan, 300, I mean, 636 newton meter is equal to 100 newton multiplied by the position. 
So, D is equal to 636 divided by 100 is equal to 6.36 meter. So, ayan yung location ng resultat natin. So, kung i-assign natin yan, kung ipa-plot natin resultant is around Okay, we have 1.5, 2.5, 2.46. So, around sa area na to. So, negative yung result at natin. Kaya, 1,000. Ah, kaya, downward. 100. Neto. So, 6.36 meter. Okay, next naman na hanapin natin ay ang value ng mga supports natin. Ng value ng RA at RB. So, para mahanap natin yung value ng mga supports natin ay gagamit lang tayo ng summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. So, yung force lang na i-include natin ay ang resultant RA at RB. Okay? Hindi na natin kailangan ng mga to since sa uh, computed naman na yan gamit itong resultant. So, we have positive RA, negative R, and positive RB is equal to zero. So, RA, okay, minus R, or the resultant is equal to 100 Newton, okay, plus RB is equal to zero. Okay, take note. So, nakuha natin na yan. So, ang next natin na gagawin is ang uh, summation of moment at point A or point B. Okay, let's say sa point A tayo. So, summation of moment A is equal to zero. So, RA is equal to zero na kasi nakatutok sa point A. So, oh, dalawa na lang natira. We have R and the RD. I mean, RB. So, ang positive ko is clockwise at ang negative ko is counterclockwise. So, R or 100 multiply by yung distance na papunta sa point A. So, 6.36. Okay, yung sign naman is since uh, clockwise yung yung ikot niya, kaya positive. So, we have RB. So, ikot niya naman is counterclockwise. So, negative. Negative RB multiply by multiply by Okay, 1.5 plus 2.5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1.7 is equal to 10.7 is equal to 0. So, solving for RB. So, RB is equal to 636 divided by 10.7. So, RB is equal to Okay. 3, 636 divided by 10.7. 59.439 Newton. Okay, for the RA naman, ay gagamitin na lang natin ito. I-reconstruct lang natin siya. So, magiging RA is equal to 100 minus RB. Since ang RB is equal to 59.439, so 100 minus 59.439. So, RA is equal to 100 minus 53.439 is equal to 40.56 Newton. So, ito na yung value na ng mga supports. So, dito na mag-e-end yung problem number 2 since nahanap naman na natin yung mga, yung mga requirement na pinapahanap. Yung resultant, yung position ng resultant at yung value ng mga supports, yung RA at RB. So, ito yung RA, ito yung RB. Kaya naman, kung may mga katanungan kayo regarding dito sa problem number 2 natin, uh, you are free na itanong sa comment section natin. And, kung bago ka rito or dati ka nang nanonood dito, don't forget to click the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell para ma-update ka sa mga bagong upload natin. And goodbye, see you in our next video.